Good afternoon. We're at Disney Springs today because we heard that Jock Lindsay's is doing a holiday bar. Yes. So we're gonna check out and see what they have. They're supposed to have some treats for the holiday season on the menu. They always do really fun themes like that. It's starting to rain though, so we were gonna show you some of the Christmas decorations and we're gonna try our very best, but it is starting to rain. Um, yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. So over here they have garland under STK and look at the little penguins. I remember these from last year. I think that this one in the middle is yeah, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we've made it to Jock Lindsay's, which is right across from Wine Bar George. Wine bar, Another one of our favorites, and it's all decorated. Yeah. Looks like there's a wait. We're gonna try and see if we can sit outside, even though it's starting to rain a little bit. But oh look, yeah, they have a whole front. Yeah, it's all decorated. I'll show you guys a better view from the front. So here's what it looks like. It says the Holidays Bar instead of the Hangar Bar. And there's Matt. <laughs> so we have sat down and we have ordered drinks. I got the Very Merry Margarita. How's it taste? Mm, that's good. Yeah? It's got cranberry, right? Yeah, sprinkles around the Is that sugar? Yeah. Yeah, sugar. <laughs> some people, that's, I'm glad they did that because some people don't realize that when you put sugar on a margarita, it really goes well as mm -hmm. opposed to salt. I like doing that every now and again. The cranberry is Yeah. Good. And then show what you got. You got the mistletoe mule. Mistletoe mule, and I've had a really hard time saying that today. <laughs> um, but it's Tito's vodka, passion fruit juice, ginger beer, and topped with mint, and I don't know if you can see it, but a little cranberry. These are the nine, double, nine something deviled eggs. Nine light. Double eggs. So it looks like they have. I didn't know that they had shrimp. Look how I didn't know they had shrimp. It says it. Yeah, they're. Red, I stopped reading at colorful eggs. Red and green for Christmas. Wow, these look amazing. Close up view of the deviled eggs. It's red. That is red. <laughs> I've never had a red deviled egg before. That is amazing. I'll try it. And by the way, it is an extremely windy day today. We're expecting a lovely storm to be hanging out around Florida for the next few days. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna try All right, ready? Yeah? Mm. Is it spicy? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. It's like a, tastes just like a double egg. Nice. We taste the shrimp. Mm. Nice. It's good. It's really good. It's cooked well. Perfect. All right, Matt went with the green egg. It's very green. All right, try it. They're kind of in the shadows. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, it's just double egg. Good. I got the tuna tacos, and I got these because they can be made gluten-free. It's a corn tortilla, but these have the tokarashi spiced ahi tuna, which I'm curious to see if it tastes similar to the one at Nomad Lounge that I love so much, and an avocado crema, some pico de gallo, red cabbage. They look really good, and it has a grilled lime with it too. Yeah? That's very good. Good? Mm. That has some good heat. Good heat? Mm -hmm. Compared to Nomad, what would you say? Not as spicy. Not as spicy? But it is spicy. Close? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. It looks good. I like this a lot. I like the uh, grilled lime touch. It goes really good. Yeah? I like that grilled lime. Yeah. It's just kind of a cool look, but it also adds kind of like a richer lime flavor to it. Yeah, it's good. I got the grandma's favorite sliders. Uh, they are venison sliders. It has a cranberry bacon jam. Tomato and watercress and, and topped. Them gluten -free. Yeah, these are gluten free buns. So if you have a gluten allergy, they can do little slider buns too. Which yeah, I didn't know that. I totally didn't even expect that because I didn't even ask them to do that. Because right. I was just going to eat this. Go ahead and try the slider, Matt. That's big. Yeah? I'm going to have to squish this together. Mm. Is it good? Good flavor. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's see. What is it on there? So it's supposed to be a cranberry bacon jam. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if they left that off. Because of the allergy. Oh, 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 okay. So these are basically just sliders. They're just venison sliders, but this is really good. I don't remember the last time I had venison. I can't remember the last time I had it. I can't believe that they have a gluten-free slider. That's yeah, so cute. I totally did not expect I what that. Brand this is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that is so good. Isn't it good though? Mm, it's so got flavorful. great flavor. It's not fatty in any way. <laughs> I really wish 
we could get the bacon jam on there to see what, but I don't think it needs it, to be honest with you. Wow. Good, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I want more. <laughs> so Matt had a bite of my tuna. I think you're like in a shadow, so sorry if you can't see Matt, but <laughs> there, you can see you now. I'll, talk, I'll talk to the light. Yeah, no, but um, what'd you think? It was good. Yeah. A solid five on the spice. Solid five out of 10? And I like spice. Yeah. It was So not, if you don't like spicy food, then probably, spicy. yeah. But, um, because they have chopped jalapenos in the pico, as well as the uh, togarashi on the actual tuna. Yeah. I liked it, it was delicious, but it, it got a kick. All right, we got the milk and cookies by the fireside. And look at the cookies. Now, obviously, these are not gluten-free, so I can't have any, but these are so cute, and they smell delicious. So they gave us two glasses so we could both try the drink. So on the cookie platter, you have a chocolate peppermint gingerbread man, a spiced sugar Christmas tree cookie, and then a butter pecan signature cookie. So these look delicious. Okay, so she said it was I've seen coconut milk and cinnamon. Yeah. She said it was very rum heavy today. It's a rum heavy coconut milk with cinnamon and it smells so good. Mm. Yeah? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah? You're gonna love it. Uh, good, huh? Oh, that's rum heavy. Yeah, it's definitely, you can definitely taste the rum. Oh, it's so good though. That'd be great with the cookies. Yeah. Okay, so Matt has tried all three cookies. I've thought long and hard about Final this. Final verdict is? This one is like really chocolatey and peppermint. Yeah. The, the, and the more butter, rich, right? More rich, right. Yeah. The um, butter pecan, it Which tastes like a- Which is the one with the Mickey on it. It tastes like a pecan sandy to me. It's, this that's, one right here, yeah. But a, better. Better than a pecan sandy? Yeah, it's really good. And that's our signature cookie. Yeah. Sorry, there's a boat taking off, or a car taking off that boathouse right next door. So it's kind of loud. <laughs> a lot of boat tours today. And then this one has like a nice uh, baking spice with like ginger and clove. So this one's not your typical sugar cookie because it has that spice to it. I almost said that one, but I really like the pecan one better. All right, now he's dunking his cookies in... <laughs> in rum. In the rum. <laughs> Is it good? I, I think, think the other ones would be better. Oh, really? I think that one would be really good because it's chocolate. All right, Matt, so which cookie is the best one to dunk in the pecan. milk? Butter, Butter pecan. pecan. <laughs> so good. I mean, none of them were bad. Yeah. But that was the best one. Yeah. And it's gone, so that's, that tells you something. <laughs> so I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. Very festive. We have all of the tinsel and garland strung across it. So fun. Bar. Wow. So much. I know. Oh, look up there. All right, we just finished with our dinner at Jock Lindsay's, yeah. and it was so good. Highly recommend going. It was funny because Matt ended up knowing our server, which was hard to tell at first. I mean, he didn't recognize yeah. her at first because she has a mask on, which is so funny about exactly. I wearing I was like, these. You can't recognize anyone. I think anyone. I recognize you, but I can only tell by your eyes. So yeah. It's really hard. <laughs> but I loved what I had. The tacos were amazing, but if you don't like spicy, then you probably wouldn't like the tacos. Yeah, for sure. Um, same as at the um, at Nomad Lounge. It's a very yeah. spicy, and these actually had jalapeno peppers. Yes. So it made it even spicier, but I really like them. But I will say that I think I enjoyed the slider more. It was just slider very, was good. Yeah, it was so flavorful and cooked really well. It was and juicy. It had nice herb flavors yeah. to it. It I, wasn't dry or anything. It was very juicy. You um, didn't get the cranberry bacon jam uh, yeah. because of the allergy. I think it was just a question for them, and they weren't sure, so they left it off. Right. So but honestly, it, I don't think it needed it. I mean, but with that, I bet it's even better. It's so good though. <laughs> You'll have to go back so you can try it if without it. If we didn't it. get the plate of cookies, I probably would have gotten another order. Yeah, but it was everything was so great. Matt really liked the cookies. You did say that the chocolate, like the gingerbread man cookie, was a little rich. I mean, not a little rich. It was it was the richest. Of of the three, mm -hmm. uh, the one that I could have probably over and over is the butter pecan. Yeah, which is said that that was her signature that was cookie. So yeah. that one sounds like it would have been my favorite yeah. too. Um, but yeah, everything was great. The drinks were great. We'll definitely go back there again. I love the theming. They yeah. have Christmas music playing. So if you're looking for a fun, festive place to put you in the holiday spirit, that's definitely one to check out here at Disney Springs. Um, 
But yeah, I think it was such a like fun time. Big success. Yeah. So we're gonna keep walking through and see what else we can find for that they have up for the holidays. See if we can see some Christmas trees, more decorations, and maybe go into World of Disney if the crowd or if the line isn't too long. When we got here, the line was wrapped all the way around the front entrance, so we'll see. So World of Disney has all of the Christmas lights up and Christmas music is playing. This is my favorite time of year. So they're doing a Christmas tree stroll scavenger hunt this year. This is the princess and the frog tree. We're gonna have to come back and do this another day because this looks like a lot of fun. That's a pretty tree too. So this is our first time here on a weekend and it's very crowded. Holiday weekend. We just, that. yeah, we just walked through a very large crowd <laughs> to come back over here. All right, we decided not to wait in line because it would probably be at least a 20 minute wait. It's pretty long. We're in the co-op and they have these mugs and I love this one, fabulous. They have a gingerbread house cookie jar and then they have these dish towels, baking spirits bright. Those are $21.99. And then I love this holiday tote bag that they have this year. It says, Tis the Season. So they have all of their Christmas face masks out. And today I have on this one, but I'm gonna buy this one here with all of the gingerbread. I like this one too. Okay, this Kitchen Cabaret. This was one of my favorite rides when I was little, or shows, I guess, at Epcot, and I need this. <laughs> so cute. Matt's favorite movie is Ratatouille and look at this dress. I need that for when the ride opens in um, Epcot. Yeah, that'd be perfect, wouldn't it? That's so cute. It looks like a little chef coat. They have the Christmas stuff out for all of the pets. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh. These are adorable. That was the first time we've been in the co-op in so long. They had some really cute things. Oh, looks like it's gonna storm. Look at the peanuts. Those are adorable with the pasta bow and donuts for eyes. So right in front of Trendy, they have the Toy Story tree. Let's see what they have on here. We're gonna have to come back and do this because this looks like fun. It looks like the um, paper rings that you make like in kindergarten class, you know oh, what I'm yeah. talking about? As a garland. Yeah, and yeah. then look, there's one of the aliens. Sheriff's badge in there. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. I love how they had them out here this year. I think that that's a good idea. So that way you have a little scavenger hunt, you know? Yeah, instead of having them all in one spot, it gives you something to do that right. takes a little bit longer. Yeah, so they have this tree next to Earl of Sandwich and it's so pretty. Looks like a, like a, a bunch of homemade ornaments on it. I like the wreath with the peanut reindeer. Oh inside. yeah, there he is. Like Can you guys see that? He's right here. That one's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I like this guy though, this clown with all the different fabric. All right, it's time to go because it is raining. So we're gonna have to walk fast. We parked all the way in the orange garage and it is starting to rain. Can we make it before the downpour begins? Let's see. We made it back to the orange garage before the rain. We made it. Well, it's it's raining a it's little bit. Drizzling. Yes. Oh, look at this tree. It has a lightsaber coming out of the top. Love and look that. at the porks and all of the Jawas and oh, I will have to zoom in so you guys can see it. But this is the cutest tree. I want to have a tree like this in our house, Matt. Yeah, no. Look at the lightsaber, huh? Kylo Ren too. Up Where? There, the top. Wait, I don't see him. On this side, you can see him. Oh yeah. I love how they did the lightsaber coming out of the top. <laughs> That's so, so smart. Cool, yeah. All right, we made it. We made it back before the rain. It's so windy. I wish you guys could see how windy it is. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We had a wonderful, yeah, very great. early dinner <laughs> at Jocelyn's Seas for the holidays. And um, I kind of want to go back. I want to go back too. I want to go back just for the knob, the drinks that came the with cookies. the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. And <laughs> hopefully we don't blow away, but we will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.